Okay, this is the tutorial on how to make a chess piece in True Space 5. We're going to be working with the bishop today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tackle the base of the bishop. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick an image or select an image maybe off the internet. Save it is, is, uh, in your images or in a file onto your computer. And what we're going to do is we're going to use that and we're going to trace it to make the base. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing we want to do is we want to select an image to be in the background. So hit the trash can, come up, I'm going to select this image right here, or this icon, background effect shader image I believe, right click that, we're going to come down to the bottom left hand corner of the screen, what we're going to do is we're going to go into files, find the picture, I have an image of the bishop, I'm going to click that, Over there. Good, so now that should be set. Actually, not. double click right on that image. X out of this, X out of the trash can. Now, from here, I'm going to work with this in order to trace I want it to be set as my background. So, I'm just going to go down File, Display Options. And I'm going to click right here, set that as my background. Now, notice how it says my background, and it's going to stay there. Now from here we're going to trace, but before we do that, we want to make sure the piece is proportional. So click right in the middle, and it looks about right right there. Now we're going to come down, where it says add curve, click that, and we're going to trace the piece. Notice how I'm just clicking, outlining. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to outline half and then make a connection. Okay. Now from here we want to select the face of that. So we're going to come down, click this right here, click this image. Now we're going to use the lathe tool from here. Click the lathe tool, right click that tool, and now at the angle we want to set for 360, mine is already set for 360, yours might not be, but make sure it's set for 360. For rotation we want to spin that to 180. right there. Yeah, click the lathe tool. Notice how we have that set. Now from here, in order to make it complete, you're going to have to edit it a little bit. Click the screen right here. What we're going to do is we're going to flip it around. Not there, click out of this. Good. So now from here, I'll just back up a little bit. Flip it. Good. Bring it up. Where's the surface? Good. For me, we just want to back up a little bit. So now that we have the view back, what we're going to do is we're going to shrink it so we can work with it. Drag it all the way down. Again, bring it to the surface. Right there. Good. Now we're going to start working on the pieces. One tool, one tool we're going to use is a sphere. Click out of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to shrink it down, make it flat. Drag it over. Bring it up. Place it right on top of the base. Right in the center. Good. What we're going to do is we'll make it a little bit bigger. Now keep in mind this takes a lot of time working with it, making sure everything's perfect. We're gonna add one more. The next tool we're going to use is a sphere. I assume we have a cylinder. Click the cylinder. We're 
use another sphere. Kind of again, tr drag it down, make it more flat. Bring it over, elevate it. Right on top. Good. Now to make the top part of the bishop, I'm gonna use another sphere. Over here we're gonna edit it. We're gonna, in order to do that, we're gonna use the ob um, deform object tool. Good. From this one, in my opinion, it's best to use from a side view, like this. Good. We'll bring it over. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click to the very top of the sphere. Bring it up just a little bit. Click out of that. Again, deform object. Click the bottom. Drag it down. Click out of that. Bring it to the top of the piece. Right in the middle. Like so. Drag it down. Good enough. Here we need to get the top piece. Shrink it down a little bit in the middle. And at the very top of it, I like to use a rounded cylinder. Shrink that down. Just like that. Bring it to the very top of the piece. Right in the middle. Drop it down. Like so. Now normally bishops have almost like a cut right in the middle. In order to do that we can make a square. Shrink it over. In. So it's very thin like this. Good. Now in order to do that we're gonna put it right in place. Of what we want to cut. Like so. Drag it right in. Elevate just a little bit. Like so. Now, no to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the uh, almost like a modified cylinder, if you will. Come down, object subtraction, and you're going to almost like a glue bottle that rectangle or the piece that we're going to use to cut it and now you see the cut Whoop, right in the middle so now I'm going to render the scene and you'll see a chess piece